Hello my friend, welcome back. Let's talk about worldwide recipes with stable blood sugars. Today I am making the staple of the Thai cuisine which is tom yum soup but I am making this special one which is tom yum gong which is gong is for prawns. So I am making a tom yum soup with prawns. I am using these prawns that have, uh, still have the shells on because with the tom yum soup, the most important thing you're going to have to do for your soup, because it's an easy dish to do, but the most important is the actual stock. Yeah. This Thai hot and sour soup come, comes from three main ingredients that are lemongrass, galangal and kaffir limes. I do not have galangal with me, so I am using um, ginger for this uh, to have like a roughly similar taste you have to have ginger and add some lemon juice my prawns that are defrosting uh, but for me it will be easier to um, get rid of the shell when they're still frozen some people do it without uh, with their fingers and they cut the head and everything I'm not too keen on that I just do it like this if you use a knife, it's actually quite easy because you can go underneath the skin and then it's easy to, to peel it. When the prawns are, are new, you know, when they're just like, you just, de you, you just clean them. And for me, I do not like the the inside, the intestine of the prawn, um, I tend to devein them. Now I told, I, I told my husband about what I was planning on doing and what I wanted to show you how to devein the uh, prawns and he told me that after seeing this people would find it absolutely horrifying and I, I understand, I agree, but who wants that? Who wants that bit in their food? I personally don't, so I don't care having to remove it. Um, I can understand that for some it's a little bit, uh, ugh, little bit horrible and it would be nicer to buy it ready-made. I agree with that, but you have to cut through the backbone of the prawn and then with a toothpick, you just get rid of it. Oops, and that's it. Well, I understand if you had like, you know, 50 prawns to do, you wouldn't bother. But since I'm only doing this for the four of us, then it doesn't really matter. I don't mind spending the time. You know how I like to freeze stuff because I don't want to waste a lot of time and I want, don't want to go and go shopping all of the time. So I've got here lemongrass. This is frozen. I also have on here all of my ingredients that are ready. I am defrosting the ginger. I will link uh, up here in the video um, my recipe for freezing ginger. That's easy. I, eat, I freeze the ginger, the lemongrass, the chilies, so that you have it ready and you don't have to go shopping uh, every time you want to do um, a, a recipe. Once you have it, you have it for good. So, hello, Mazoos! Hello, Mazoos! Here we go! Even my dog is really hot, so my son tends to water him down so that he gets cold and so he's, it makes him happy as well because it's really hot as well for him, especially with all the fur and everything. So, going back to my recipe. This is one of my favorite moments when you have to kind of batter the lemongrass. That if you feel a little bit nervous or a little bit, so it's quite therapeutic. So, There you are. So now we're going to start with the stock. Two tablespoons of coconut oil and then I put in the prawns. You want to let your prawns cook. Do not want them to burn because once you start cooking it, they will start developing a nice flavour. You see the colour is changing. The shrimp heads contain tamale, which is supposed to be the caviar of the prawn. It has some sort of orangey substance to it. It's called the shrimp poivre. So it will add a lot of lovely flavor to your dish. Now that this is cooking nicely, I am adding the ginger. I'm adding the lemongrass. 
15 minutes and it cook nicely like this. You don't want it too tight to the pan, you know, you just want it to cook nicely. So I would put it on lower heat. I am not adding yet the garlic, I'm just getting it ready. And when I add, when I finally add the stock, I will put the garlic with it. You want to let it boil and then you will uh, reduce the heat. But you want to leave it for maybe little 20 minutes so that it just gets the flavors of all of the lovely stuff you put in. I am also putting a little bit of red curry paste. This is what I use. It comes in like a packet like this and you just need to press out the content. Look, I'm putting maybe this much. I do not like the froth at the top. I have bought recently something that I really like. This is going to make really thin strips of anything like this. Chuk, chuk, chuk. And you make really thin strips of whatever. Basically, I want this end bit. So, I am leaving this for later on to cook when I want to cook something. Getting rid of the bit here. And then you start with this. You can use the stalks will give you also a very nice flavor, you know, because the flavor is also in the stalks of the coriander. So basically now your soup is ready, all you need to do is you need to get rid of all of the heads, all of everything, the, mostly get rid of mostly the big things and then we will put it through a sieve so that you have only the broth and the lovely thing, um, the lovely broth uh, with nothing in it. I'm just trying to take it out before because I don't want to overwhelm my sieve <laughs> because I don't want it to go uh, on the side of the sieve. Honestly, this is really lovely. It just smells, honestly, it smells really nice. You're going to love it. I am using this one. As you see, I've got this sort of sieve. Um, you could also use, if you wanted, the coffee, uh, you know, when you make coffee, you put like, I don't know what it's called, it's like a strainer or something like that. You could also do that if you wanted. Um, but I don't drink coffee, so I don't have any. And But I'm using this and I think it's very thin, so it will be fine, nothing will go through. Um, obviously be very careful because it is very hot. I see myself, I'm sorry, I'm so, I look really shiny, but it's, it's just very, very hot. This is yummy. So, two things, I'm putting on, on low heat, you know, on very, well, medium low, to be honest. And I've got everything ready here to put inside the uh, soup. So if you want the soup to be um, carbs free or keto, then you would eat your soup just like this. It would count as nothing. But for me, I like to give my boys some carbohydrates. And in this instance, I want to add pasta to it. You have two types of pastas that look the same. You have the vermicelli rice and you have the mango bean one. Both look kind of similar. This is, this is the rice one, this is the mango bean one. The only difference between these two, because I am a channel where I'm trying to use as um, many ingredients uh, with a low glycemic index as possible. So now both these pasta are worth uh, quite a bit of uh, carbohydrates, okay? You have, to, they both are roughly similar. The only difference is the rice vermicelli has a very high glycemic index, whereas the mango bean vermicelli has got a lower um, uh, glycemic index. It has got a glycemic index of 45. As far as these types of carbohydrates, this is the best I could find and you can't really tell the difference. You need to cook them first to figure out the carb content. So what I would do is I would take this, boil it and 
uh, then figure out how many carbs that is. The first pair that you add to your dish, they are always very high in carbs, well very high, they're always high in carbs, so you have to watch out how much you put so that uh, your carb content of the day does not explode. So uh, if you are interested in the carb content and in the ingredients, don't forget that I leave in the description of the video down below, I always leave a, 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 a extensive description of the carb content, how to calculate it, and also the ingredients. So I hope you find that helpful. Now back to my recipe. Uh, so while the pasta is cooking, you want to add the prawns so that they cook themselves until they are, um, you know, they change color. And then um, I am adding the amount of carbohydrates and let's just wait for the prawns to cook. My dish is now ready. I am super excited. I think it's going to be really, really nice. So I'm putting first the stock. You need to add the coriander, the tiny little shavings of the chili. Look at this. Nice. And the mint. Honestly, that's nice or what? It's gorgeous. Love it. I love it. Love it. Now, if you have enjoyed this video, I think you might enjoy as well a wonton soup, which is something that I did a few videos uh, before. I will give you uh, the links at the end of the video. It's a, a very easy as well, like all my recipes, it's a very easy dish to make and you can freeze it so you can have it in the winter time when you feel like, don't feel like cooking. The stock is very easy to make and then the wonton, you just add it to your soup. So you can have a meal literally ready in five minutes. So I hope you have enjoyed my video of Tom Yum Gung. I hope that it's going to give you an idea of what you can eat in Thailand. Um, this is, uh, one of my favorite, one of my husband's favorite as well. So I hope it will become yours as well. And in the meantime, my friend, please look after yourself and I will see you in the next video. Bye.